So former President Jacob Zuma has just addressed his supporters at Nkanda this afternoon. He, take, he took aim at former public protector Tuli Madonsela and at Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. Zuma also stated that he would be spending the night at home, not in prison. Our senior reporter Sipamandla Gorge has all of the details. Sipamanda, give me an update on what you heard and what's the latest situation there. The latest is that the former president is meeting with his legal team right now. Of course, remember that today was meant to be his deadline, you know, for that judgment to kick in if he had failed to hand himself over to the police. The police commissioner, together with the police minister, would have been given three days to implement that judgment of the constitutional court by assisting police to take the former president to the nearest uh, police station. But that is not going to happen for now, as we know for a fact that he has lodged his his application to the Constitutional Court seeking for the Constitutional Court to rescind its judgment. He also went to the High Court of Guazul Natal Division in Peter Maritzburg, basically. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> we are near a food outlet here. But nonetheless, it tells you that people are eating around here. That's the situation. Former president meeting with his legal team inside. And uh, after that, he is set to address his supporters later today at 6 o'clock, according to the Jacob Zuma Foundation. That is when he is expected to address his supporters. So his speech today was mainly about him asking his supporters to, well, basically thanking them, let me put it that way, thanking his supporters for continuing to support him, saying he feels strong, he feels that now he is protected. He even asked how are the police, so how were the police going to come here and arrest him in the presence of all these people who came here to protect him, you know, saying, well, when he was alone, thinking he thought he was going to be the one wrestling with the police, but now with all these people who came to support him. He feels protected, he feels loved, he feels embraced. So his speech was wide-ranging, but the gist of it was about him saying he has not done anything wrong, thanking his legal team, which he introduced to his supporters, thanking them for doing a sterling job, according to him. He even joked that I will spend the night at home today because of them. I'm not going to jail anytime soon because of my legal team and the sterling work that they have been doing. And then now he's meeting with them because because remember now that they have launched that application to the Constitutional Court, they need to strategize as to how do they play this out moving forward. But also, there is another pending legal matter here. The former president is due back at the High Court of South Africa in Wazul Natal Division in Peter Maritzburg for his fraud and corruption charges on the 19th of July. So they will talk about that as well. His supporters, well, they continue to say they will be supporting him. They they will not abandon him. They say even if he changes his tune and decides to hand himself over to the police, even when the time comes, should it come, according to them, they will defend him. They will not allow him to do that. So it was a political rally addressed by former President Jacob Zuma, thanking his supporters, also telling them why he refused to go back to the Zondo Commission. We know that the Concord found him guilty of defying a court order to go back to the State Capture Commission of Inquiry. So he told his supporters that he had no issue with going back to the Commission of Inquiry, but he had an issue with the Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, who is chairing that commission. Thank you very much for your time and reporting all day. It's been a trying, challenging time, I know, for both our senior reporters, ENCA senior reporter Sipaman Lagoge, right there at uh, Nkandla.